Hello student, Assalamualaikum. Today we will study phase of bacterial growth. I am Sheikh Abu Sufyan, Assistant Professor in School of Pharmacy, AIKTC, New Panvel. Let's see what is bacterial growth. It means an orderly increase in all cellular constituents. Growth is followed by cell division, resulting in an increase in a cell number. Increase of mass may not really reflect growth of the bacteria. So two things, number one, orderly increase in all cellular constituents, number two, increase in cell number, it reflect growth of the bacteria. Now we will see different growth phase of bacteria. When we plot log of number of bacteria against time, it give us a curve which consists of four phase, phase one, lag phase, phase two, log phase, phase three, stationary phase and phase 4 is a death phase. These four phase of graph of log of number of bacteria against time it is called as growth phase of bacteria. Let's study each and every phase of the bacterial growth in a detail. So phase 1 it is the lag phase. The period between inoculation and the beginning of multiplication is known as a lag phase. When bacteria are inoculated into a fresh medium, the microbial population remains constant for an initial period. In this phase, bacteria cell adjusts itself to adopt the new environment. For example, if we have inoculated 50 bacteria in petri plate, then for initial some period, these number remains constant and there is no increase in cell number and hence it is called as lag phase. Let's see characteristic of lag phase. Number one, the enzyme, coenzyme and other ascension molecules are synthesized by the bacterial cell during this phase. Number two, the cell are metabolically and physiologically very active but do not divide. So this is the reason why there is lag phase and at initial period there is no increase in a number of cells. Now the length of lag phase it depend upon the nature of the medium, species of microorganism and various physical and chemical growth factor. That is why in some bacteria there is very short lag phase and in other bacteria there is prolonged lag phase is seen. Let us see about the phase 2. Phase 2 it is a log phase. It is also called as exponential phase. During this phase the cell divide at constant rate log of number of cell plotted against time it result in a straight line the time required for one bacterial division during this phase is known as generation time the number of bacteria present in each generation period is almost twice that in the previous period for example if 50 bacteria are inoculated in time t is equal to 0 and this number become 100 after 12 hours since bacteria took 12 hours to become twice of their initial number, these 12 hours is the generation time of that bacteria. Let's see about characteristic of log phase. First characteristic is the generation time. The number of generation that occur in particular time, it is called as generation time. So generation time can be mathematically calculated as g is equal to t divided by 3.03 log of nt minus log of n0. So here g is generation time, t is the time when we measure bacterial population, nt it is the number of bacteria at time t and n0 are initial number of the bacteria. Second characteristic it is the growth rate. So the growth rate it is the number of generation per hours. It is calculated mathematically as r is equal to 3.03 log of nt minus log of n0 divided by t. Generation time mainly depend upon type of species, nutrients in the medium and physical condition. Let's see about phase 3. Phase 3 is called as stationary phase. In this phase, a constant high population of cell is maintained by balance between cell division and cell death. The rate of multiplication is reduced in this phase because of depletion of nutrients, accumulation of toxic waste product, 
very high concentration of cell and due to low partial pressure of oxygen. So this is the phase where cell division is equal to cell death and here just cell death is started. Next phase is a phase 4 which is death or decline phase. It is also known as logarithmic death phase. It is the phase where number of viable cell decrease exponentially. A variety of conditions contribute to bacterial death but the most important are depletion of nutrients. So most of the nutrients are depleted and utilized by the bacteria and second important parameter is accumulation of toxic waste product. So to summarize, growth phase of bacteria is a plot of log of number of bacteria against time. It consists of four phase, lag phase where initial number of bacterial population remains same, log phase where bacterial population increase exponentially. Third phase it is the stationary phase where number of cell division is equal to cell death. Fourth phase it is the death phase where number of bacteria decrease continuously. I hope you have learned growth phase of bacteria. For more such learning subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.